Okay, today we're going to review our basic skills to simplify polynomials. So we're going to talk about combining like terms, adding polynomials, subtracting polynomials, and multiplying polynomials. Okay, here we go. All right, combining like terms. Remember, when we're combining like terms, we can only combine terms that have the same variable to the same exponent. So looking at our first example, so who are like terms with 2x? I've got 2x, and I have 4x, and I have negative 3x. Ah, smart thing. Let's leave chain change this whole thing first. The reason I leave change change is that because addition is commutative, I can change the order of addition, so I can rearrange the way that I'm combining these. Can't really do that if I'm subtracting. So I'm going to change everything to an addition problem. So I've got 2x plus 4x plus negative 3x. That gives me 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 3 is 3. 3x plus... Here's a negative y. Do I have any other y's? 2y. Great, so negative y. Ooh, is there a number there? Yeah, let's call it negative 1y. Negative 1y plus 2y is 1y. Plus negative 5 plus negative 14 is negative 19. And it's in standard form. I've got my, de this is of degree 1, this is of degree 1, this is of degree 0. So it's an order of degree, and it's alphabetized. Here we go. Next one I have is 2x squared. Just let me leave change, change these. Leave change, change. Leave change, change. Leave change, change. Okay, so I've got 2x squared. Any other x squareds? Minus 3x squared. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 1x squared. I don't ch change that exponent at all. Remember, when I'm adding like terms, what do I do to the exponents? Nothing. So that stays a 2. Plus, here's 3y. Uh, negative 3y. Ah, that gives me 0y. Plus negative 4y squared. Any other y squareds? No. Nope. Negative 4y squared. Plus, uh, here's 7 and negative 11. That gives me negative 4. Okay, good. So I can rewrite this as negative x squared. I don't have to put that 1. There are no y's. Plus negative 4 y squared minus 4. Okay. Pause, and you try the rest of them. Okay. Now we're going to add polynomials. Here we go. So I have two polynomials. Here's a, the first one is a linear binomial, and the second one is a quadratic trinomial of degree 2. And I'm adding them both, and they're both in parentheses. Now, if there is no number in front of the parentheses, there's really nothing for me to distribute, you can consider it, consider there being a 1. And if I would distribute that 1, I would end up with what I started with in the first place. So when, I, when there's just a 1 in front of these parentheses, I can just kind of erase them. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite this without the parentheses in a second. Same thing here. Is there a number in front of this for me to distribute? That's yeah, a 1. So if it's just a 1, I can kind of get rid of these parentheses. So here we go. I'm going to write this as 2x plus 14 plus 3x squared plus 31x uh, plus negative 7. I leave change, change that for you. So let's see what we have in common. I've got 2x and a 31x. So that gives me 33x 
plus, I have a 14, and a negative 7. It gives me 7. Plus, oh, plus 3x squared. I want you to notice that this x squared is a different term than this x and this x. Because okay? x is raised to a different exponent than the other ones. So that's why I didn't combine them. So if I put this in standard form, my highest degree here is 2. So I end up with 3x squared plus 33x plus 7. Okay. And my leading coefficient for this polynomial is 3. Okay. All right. I'm going to give myself some more space here if I can. No, I can't. All right. Let's try the next one. I have negative 4x minus 5 plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. I'm going to leave chain change. Leave change change. Okay, good. Now, you know, we talked about if there is no number in front of these parentheses, then we can just consider them gone because we're going to pretend like it's a 1 in front of the parentheses and we distribute that 1. So let's um, combine like terms. I've got negative 4x squared and 3x squared. That gives me negative x squared. Or you could write negative 1x squared if you want. It's the same thing. Plus negative 5 plus 8. So it's plus 3. Plus what's left? Oh, I've got negative 6x plus negative 6x. Good. So when I write that in standard form, I'll have negative x squared plus negative 6x plus 3. What's my leading coefficient here? Well, I don't see a number in front of that x squared, just a negative sign. Ah, that's right. There's a number. There's a 1 here, so it's negative 1. Negative 1 is my leading coefficient. Um, and this is a quadratic trinomial because it's a degree 2, and it has three terms. Okay. Pause me. Write these down and try the, try the rest. Now we're subtracting polynomials. This is so important, this trips people up. So here we go. So I'm subtracting polynomials. I'm going to leave change change. If you leave change change, you will not go wrong. So there's nothing to do here. Uh, I've got to leave change change. So I'm going to leave the first. Polynomial. I'm going to change that sign, and I'm going to change that number in front of this polynomial. Uh, I'm going to make it negative, but there is no number. Yes, there is. There's a 1 there. So I'm going to change it to a negative 1. Okay. What that's going to cause me to do is that's going to cause me to distribute that negative 1 to everything inside. So I'm going to leave change change that sign. So you know I can get rid of these parentheses over here. But I can't get rid of the other parentheses because I've got to multiply the entire polynomial by negative 1. So PEMDAS tells me to do that multiplication first. Okay, so that's, this is the part I'm going to work on right now. Okay, so I'm going to bring down what I had. I had 2x plus 14 plus, now here we go. I'm going to multiply each term by negative 1. So negative 1 times 3x squared is negative 3x squared plus, this is part right here, negative 1 times 31x is negative 31x plus negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Oh, good. Now all I've got to do is combine like terms. I've got my x terms, so that gives me negative 29 x. Be careful with your when you're adding um, positive and negative numbers. Then I have 14 plus 7 gives me 21. Plus all I'm left with is negative 3x squared. So when I write that in standard form, I'm going to write that as negative 3x squared plus negative 29x plus 21. Okay. That's a quadratic trinomial, and my leading coefficient is negative 3. 
Let's try the next one. I'm going to leave, change, change it. So I'm going to leave, change, change up, plus negative 1, plus negative 6. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to, I can get rid of these parentheses here, but I can't get rid of these because I have to distribute the negative 1. So I end up with negative 4x squared plus negative 5 plus, now here we go, now I'm distributing, negative 3x squared plus, ooh, negative 1 times negative 6x is positive 6x plus negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Here I'm going to simplify. I end up with negative 4x plus negative, excuse me, negative 4x squared plus negative 3x squared. And that gives me negative 7x squared. I've got negative 5 plus negative 8. That gives me negative 13. And then plus 6x. 6x. So I write that in standard form. I get negative 7x squared plus 6x plus negative 13. My leading coefficient is negative 7, and it's a quadratic trinomial again. Okay. Go for it. You try the rest. Now we're going to distribute, kind of distribute, we did, we distributed that negative sign or that negative one last time, so we're really good at this. So we're going to distribute and we're going to multiply each term inside my polynomial by 3x. I'm going to leave change, change that guy. So just to kind of break it down for you, um, when I distribute, what I'm really doing is I'm multiplying. So I've got 3x times, times negative 2x plus 3x times negative 4. Now PEMDAS tells me I have to multiply before I add. I can't add 2x plus 3x. That makes no sense, okay, because I have to multiply first according to PEMDAS. So here we go. I've got... Um, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. x times x is x squared. Okay, remember, I'm multiplying the same base as I add the exponents. Plus 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And I just have that x there. Now, can I combine like terms? No, I can't combine like terms. x squared is not the same as x. So it's good. It's simplified. Looks good. Let's try another one. I'm going to multiply each term inside my polynomial. Whoops, another one there. And another one there. By negative 5a squared. So let me leave change, change this guy. And here we go. So I'm going to do negative 5a squared times 3ab plus negative 5a squared times 2a plus negative 5a squared times negative b plus negative 5a squared times 6. Okay, I'm going to do all my multiplication first. All my multiplication first. So negative 5 times 3 is 15. a squared times a is a to the third. Let me erase that because I don't like the way that looks. Negative 15. A squared times A is A to the third. And then I still have that B. Plus negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. A squared times A is A to the third. Remember your exponent rules. Plus negative 5 times negative B. Ooh, remember that's kind of like negative 1B. So I'm going to put a 1 there. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. A squared is A squared. B is B. Plus negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. I got A squared. Now let's see what I can combine there. Are there any like terms? 
uh, with the same bases, same variables, and same exponents? No. Okay. Now let's put this in um, standard form. So this has a, this one, the first term has a degree of 4. The second one has a degree of 3. The third one has a degree of 3. And the fourth one has a degree of 2. So it looks like it's looking good. About two, three, two degrees of 3, but a to the third power comes before a squared b alphabetically. So there, looks good. Okay. I want you to try these next two. You're getting really good at this, I promise. Okay. Now we're going to keep on going. Okay. Looking at this one. I have a negative of this whole thing. So there's not a number there. Where, how am I going to distribute that negative? What am I going to do? Ah, there really is a number here in front of it. We're going to consider this to be a negative 1. And now I know what to do. So let me change, change that. I'm going to distribute that negative 1 to everything inside my polynomial. So I have negative 1 times negative 2x. That gives me 2x. Plus negative 1 times negative 4. That gives me 4. And I'm done. The next one. Oh. Here we go. 4 minus 5 times 3x minus 2. Cool. You think I should multiply this, I mean, subtract this 4 into this 4 minus 5? No. MDAS tells me that I need to do my multiplication first. Here's a product. 5 times 3x minus 2. So let me leave change, change everything. And now I'm going to do, so I'm going to just do this multiplication right here. I'm going to use distributive property. So I'm going to bring my 4 down. So I have 4 plus negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x. Plus negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. And I've got some like terms here. I can combine my 4 and my 10. And that will give me 14 plus negative 15x. Standard form? Mm, I don't think so. This is the first term is a degree 0, and the second term is of degree 1. So the 1's got to go first. It's got to be from greatest to least. So I'm going to end up having negative 15x plus 14. It's a linear binomial with a leading coefficient of negative 15. You try the rest. Oh, that's it. Good job. Okay, you guys are ready for application problems. I'll see you at school as soon as I can turn this off.